来自加拿大的新闻摄影师，他旅居台湾十多年。一九九九年九二一大地震，他拍下了东兴大楼倒塌的画面，获得世界新闻摄影奖。一九九七年，他刚来到台湾，他历经了政党轮替、两千零三年的 SARS 等等。他最近出了一本书，透过一个外国人的眼睛看台湾。一九九九年九月二十一日，那场全台大地震，刚到台湾担任新闻摄影记者的 David 拍下东兴大楼倒塌的照片，获得世界新闻摄影奖。十五年前的九二一大地震让他印象深刻。You know, you see people suffer in central Taiwan. In Taipei, the Dongxing Dalo, the 85 people died in the building. So, and that was impressive. But then going south and seeing actually the Taiwan people, the part for me was, if something really bad happens, there's always something good that comes from it. So it was the people joining together to help each other. Not efficient, but very good-hearted. 超过二十年的新闻摄影经验 ，David 经历九二一大地震、政党轮替、二零零三年的 SARS、倒扁活动等等。他跟着台湾一起走过二十一世纪初的社会变动。现在 ，David 定居于辽国，长期驻点于东南亚。他将过去旅居台湾十多年的日常风景集结成摄影书《台湾你好》。It's always go go go, busy, busy, busy. There's always something going on, and.、Uh... Maybe I hope you can tell from my pictures that how I see it, like that maybe people here are creative in the way they do things. I don't try to be funny when I'm taking a picture, a funny picture. I think it's just the way I see things, I, the way I look at life, kind of positive. Today, David, we come to the closest airport to Taipei. This is a place even outsiders don't know about. I like airplanes so much. I really like airplanes.、So. I don't know. I always maybe because I'm always going on them somewhere, but. I really like them. The first time I came, they have sausage vendor, you know. 染发的小狗以及头戴五颜六色假发的少女，公园练剑道以及抗争的现场，台湾社会支持和反对的声音。两张照片，不同时空地点，互相表述，带你看见生气蓬勃的台湾。David 就说，每个故事有正反两面，而台湾就是这么一个精彩的故事。背着相机走在路上，随时做好拍下美丽的瞬间。朋友说他总是这么幸运，但他不这么认为。When I say get a good picture, sometimes I tell people I'm lucky. But when you say luck, luck is where preparation meets opportunity, right? So that means that you have to be prepared. First, it has to happen, the opportunity. But you have to be prepared. That means having a camera. But it also means the ability to see. You have to see the picture. If you don't see the picture, you're going to miss it, right? 从加拿大摄影工作者 David 眼中看见宝岛的多元文化，这片土地的美丽。未来计划筹办自己的摄影展，让更多人从照片中看见宝岛日常。